Hey girl, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Just saw you sitting out here. And I thought I might join you. What are you thinking about? Watching the street. My mom's coming home early. The meeting was canceled. I never seen you so excited to see your mom. I am after my grandpa's here. Ah, oh, I see. Not a good relationship. Nothing really happened. He's just not really like in my world, you know? Yeah, I do. She should be getting here any minute now. How are you going to greet her? Are you going to run up to her and scream, thank God you're here? Or will you keep it less dramatic? Shut your mouth. Still, if you exaggerated, you will have to tell her why you're so happy to see her. So I guess the best thing to do is just play it cool. Can you go? Sir, I have dinner anyways. Just remember, keep it calm. Go. Hey, Carl. Uh, hey, I wanted to ask you, are you all doing anything after school Monday? Mm, no, I don't think so. Why? I was uh, just wondering if you want to maybe hang out. Sure. Great. Okay, bye. All right. See you. Jack, I don't understand. That was the worst lesson you've ever had. What happened? I'm going to keep telling you I don't know. Well, you practice every day. I don't know how you could have such a bad lesson. Maybe because I didn't practice every day. This morning I didn't practice. Why didn't you? Why would you lie to me? I didn't practice because I didn't want to. You need to be more specific than that. I didn't practice because I didn't want to. It's nothing more than that. How much more specific could you get? Then why did you lie to me? I lied to you because I didn't want you to force it on me, like you are now. Well, in that case, you can go play the piano for one hour. What? Mom! Not because you were told to, Jack. Because I want you to be good and do well at your lessons. I want you to feel happy when you come home. I want you to be happy. Now go inside and practice. Hiya! So, when's your dad getting here again? My dad has one more thing to do. I'm gonna be back in two more weeks. All right, well, that's great. Well, as long as I know he's okay and as long as he's coming home, I'll be great. I think this great news deserves some celebration. I'll make some popcorn, we can rent a movie. You're paying. Awesome. So, what kind of movie do you want? Let's make it a happy movie. Hey, got something for you. Yeah, what is it? I gotta go though, so yeah, I'll just hand it to you. It's a little letter for something. Oh, thanks. sure that you'll be able to make John's welcome party this Wednesday. Um, well actually my medicine, I can't find it. I have to go and get some more pills and um, my appointment's Wednesday evening. So I don't think I can. Sorry. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. That's fine. I uh, hope you feel better. Thanks. Every house on Waterman Avenue belongs to a specific family. And in those houses, 
you'll find many things. Children who lie to their parents. <laughs> New friendships beginning. And kids who actually can't wait for their parents to get home from work. But another reason there are houses is to use their closed doors to hide things. Things you don't want anybody to see.